Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick chatty video and I'm just going to be going over some new fragrances that I don't really want to try. Like I'm kind of not interested in them. And I know that a lot of you guys ask me in the comments sections, hey, are you going to review this fragrance? Or hey, are you going to give your thoughts on this fragrance? So even if I'm not going to pick it up, I kind of wanted to make a video for those that I'm not going to pick up and the reasons why. In case maybe some of you guys have smelled them and you want to tell me otherwise, or you can give me your opinion on them if you have tried them. So let's get right into it. Let's have some girl time. If you're new here and you love girl talk perfume makeup body care just self-care go ahead and subscribe before you leave today's video i would love to see you back for my next upcoming videos and with that said let's get right into today's video So I have my Sephora app open kind of to go over some new fragrances that I don't really want to pick up, not even the travel size. So I'm going to be starting off with the first one and I'm going to be putting the picture of the bottle on the screen. If you have tried these fragrances, let me know your thoughts on them. Maybe me and you have the same taste and you really like it and that kind of sparks an interest for me to try it out. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Dolce Violet Eau de Toilette. So I am a very, very big fan of the Dolce line. I have loved pretty much almost all of them with the exception of maybe like one or two. But this one, when I saw the bottle pop up, I got so excited because anytime that I see a new Dolce bottle, I just have to have it. But when I went and looked at the notes, it was kind of like, hmm. No thanks. So I'm going to go over the notes. So this fragrance is in the florals family. So right away, I don't know, even though it does say fruity florals. So I do love fruity florals. That's, I'm kind of like a fruity floral type of gal. But the keynotes for this fragrance are black currant, which that note to me, it can go wrong so quickly it can smell like pee so quickly and then there's also violet which violet is another note that i kind of despise and there's a funny story behind why i don't really enjoy violet when i had my oldest daughter i had her in this daycare where they took amazing care of her they were so good to her they fed her home cooked meals and they taught her so many things that i just couldn't be there to do because i was working and they had this little habit of every time that I was going to pick her up they would take the kids outside and stuff and you know sometimes when the kids go outside they have that funky like outside smell so they used to put this violet baby cologne on her every single day so I would pick her up the first few times it was kind of like oh she smells so good thank you it got to the point where I was sick of that smell so anytime that i smell something really really strong with violet it just kind of like my body's automatically like ill no violet doesn't smell bad at all it's actually a really nice like feminine it's kind of like aromatic but then it's still kind of feminine and pretty at the same time i just cannot do it so as soon as i saw violet in this fragrance i was like no thanks and then i saw black currant i was like no thanks so i'm not even going to pick up the travel size of it i don't want to give it a bad review because the the notes in it are just not for me. So I'm going to look it up on Fragrantica to see if they pick anything else up. So they described it as a fruity, powdery violet. So I'm thinking the violet is very pronounced because it's the third accord listed. Woody, fresh, floral, aromatic, soft, spicy, green, and musky. And then the top notes are cassis, which that can go good or bad. Cyclamen, I'm okay with. Mandarin orange, I'm okay with. The middle notes are violet, black currant, and pear. I love pear. I don't like those two other notes. And then the base notes are musk, sandalwood, and Madagascar vanilla. So this is compared on Fragrantica to Gucci Guilty Absolute, which I did have that one and I did like it, but I did declutter it because I wasn't crazy about it. So it was like a very woody rose scent to me. So I'm wondering how those two would be similar. If you have tried Dolce Violet, let me know what you think of it. I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments section. So that is the first one. The second one that I am not going to be talking about on my channel is Billie Eilish number two. 
Now this one, I did get a chance to smell. I was at the stores here in the military base. They always put out samples of perfumes. I love smelling the perfumes there because I don't really have anyone bothering me, you know, on top of me or anything. So I get to smell a lot of new releases there. And they had the bottle of this there. And I went ahead and ran over to it and sprayed it on my hand, on my arm. It literally smelled like one of my husband's cologne. So it didn't smell bad, but it smelled like a straight up dude cologne like very very masculine to me so the main accords for that fragrance are woody fresh spicy citrus floral and warm spicy the top notes are bergamot and apple blossom i did not get that at all middle notes are black pepper papyrus and poppy and the base notes are palo santo ebony and vanilla i definitely picked up on the ebony the black pepper the Palo Santo, which I do like Palo Santo. It's like a very relaxing scent to me, but this was just very woody, very strong. It kind of made me think of like when my husband wears those spicy, sexy colognes, which it doesn't smell bad, but I don't want to smell like that myself. So that one was definitely a no for me. I didn't find it not one bit intriguing, not one bit feminine or feminine enough for me to want to wear it because I don't mind wearing unisex fragrances. I've actually been loving unisex fragrances way more lately, but that was just too much for me. It was a no, 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 no. So that is the second one. Let me know if you've tried that one as well. Okay, this next one, I wasn't going to try this one, but I actually am because I did get the travel size in my Sephora savings event haul i did a haul a little mini of it and that is versace pour femme dylan purple so i had horrible experiences the first few times that i smelled this fragrance so that is why i had it on this list and i was not going to pick up the travel size but now i do have it so stick around for a future video i'm going to talk about that one but the main accords for it are fruity citrus amber floral musky woody sweet fresh aquatic and fresh spicy the top notes are pear bitter orange and bergamot middle notes are freesia i'm gonna say it in spanish poma rosa which is palma rose um i have heard of that as a floral even though they're listing it kind of like a synthetic note mahonial and then the base notes are Ambroxan, iso east super silkalide virginia cedar and balambra tree so very very unique notes i was so intrigued by this when i saw the notes i was like oh yes i have to try that because when we see different notes like that especially a collector it's kind of like oh i want to smell it because you're just not used to those notes now i went to sephora the first time that i went there i ran to the fragrance because they had a tester and i sprayed it on my hand and i swear i sprayed it didn't smell nothing nothing i was like what the hell I, this doesn't make no sense so i was like okay this sucks i'm not even interested in it i was so pissed i had a conversation with one of you so i was talking to danit is that how you would say your name? But we were going back and forth talking about this fragrance and the same thing happened to her. She was like so mad. She was like, I sprayed the fragrance. I could not smell it. And we were both like, what a waste of time. We're not going to, we're not going to do it. So then I went again to Sephora after for something else. Cause I, I live at Sephora pretty much and I smelled it again. And this time I could smell a little bit more, but it wasn't something, it was a pretty scent. It was a very feminine, pretty scent, but there was nothing about it that was, that I wanted to take it with me. And then finally, this last time that I went to go pick up my sale order, I sprayed it again. And this time it was so much more potent. I could smell it so much better. It was very feminine, very sexy. And I was like, okay, I think that we can actually deal with this. So I picked it up and I'm going to be going a little bit further into detail about it in another video. So stay tuned for that. But definitely that one needs time to sit because the first few sprays, I was just like, what the heck is going on here? But I did change my mind about that one. So you will be seeing that one in a later video. I will be going over it with you guys, kind of like my first impressions as well as reviewing it. So that's that one. The next one is Gucci Bloom Intense. Not interested. The main accords are white floral, tuberose, 
warm, spicy, fruity, earthy, patchouli, sweet, mossy, and woody. I don't do white floral like that. I don't do tuberose like that very rarely. I have a few tuberose fragrances, but I'm very picky with that. I don't do too much earthy. Patchouli can be not for me. Mossy depends. It's just not my type of fragrance. I'm not even going to waste my time with it. And it's kind of sounding like this is gonna smell kind of like Rihanna's, is it Rebel Fleur? But the top notes are ginger, pear, and mandarin orange. That's not bad. Middle notes, there's two rows, night blooming jasmine, jasmine some back, and orange blossom. And the base notes are patchouli, moss, and coconut. Mm, I don't know. And when I go to this perfume reminds me of, I've never really tried any of those fragrances, but I see here Dolce & Gabbana, the only one in tents as one that people are saying reminds them of this one. People are saying that this is a deeper and sweeter floral compared to the original. Someone said it's not very strong. Someone said that this reminds them, two people said that this reminds them of Baccarat Rouge in the dry down. What? That's crazy. Mm, some people are saying it reminds them of Chloe Nomad. So I feel like this one's just not for me. If you have tried this one, let me know what you think of it. If we kind of have similar taste, have you tried this one? Because I have not even tried it anywhere. So yeah, that's that one. Okay, so the last one I'm going to be talking about is Jimmy Choo's Rose Passion. The main accords for this one sounded beautiful. And I actually smelled this one without even knowing what the perfume was all about. I just went to the military store again here on base and I saw the name Rose Passion. So I was like, ooh, this is probably gonna be like a really strong rose scent but i still went ahead and sprayed it on myself when i tell you this was a beast of a fragrance like if you want a beast mode fragrance that everyone is going to smell i literally did this you guys and it smelled like if i had doused my entire body in fragrance i couldn't stop smelling it the whole time that i was in the store but i didn't enjoy it i'll tell you why now but the main accords are tropical floral coconut vanilla lectonic sweet white floral citrus powdery and woody it sounds beautiful the top notes are frangipani and jasmine middle notes are coconut milk and orchid and the base notes are vanilla and sandalwood if this fragrance did not have jasmine in it i would have brought it home with me that day because all of those other notes are gorgeous i love fragrances with orchid in them like i have noticed that anytime a fragrance has orchid even though i don't know what the heck orchid smells like but when i see orchid in a fragrance it usually has the most beautiful feminine soft floral touch to it is gorgeous and also frangipani i love so much the coconut sun fragrance that i have been raving about has frangipani in it and it's just very soft and just beautiful but the jasmine was so freaking loud and screechy in this fragrance on my skin i'm pretty sure that on other people it might not be as sharp on my skin it was literally jasmine it knocked everything out i barely got anything then finally like towards the deep dry down when i had already left the store i was already getting home i could start getting kind of like that tropical vibe from it and it was so beautiful but the opening no 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 like juliet has a gun lust for sun that one has white florals in the opening and i'm not a white floral type of girl but i can actually wear that one because it's very strong that one's very strong as well but it doesn't bother me as much as jasmine does jasmine is just a floral that when it is sharp and strong it is the biggest turnoff for me so that's what happened with that one unfortunately and i feel like the name does not match the fragrance either why would you say rose passion there's no rose in the fragrance and i don't get any rose i get like a tropical white floral out of this people are comparing it to alien goddess intense and alien goddess i would say maybe the dry down but no it's they're not really the same and i feel like this one if you really like beast mode fragrances check this out because it is so strong it was definitely not for me so that brings me to the end of today's video let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video i just wanted to chit chat about the fragrances that i won't be reviewing on my channel let me know if you have experienced any of these if you have them or if you have smelled them what was your experience with them i cannot wait to chat with you guys thank you so so much for being here with me today 
Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh,